Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and welcome to our football construction site as we build a team through the NFL Draft. You always hear others say that this particular draft is weak or wait until next year to take this particular position or the NFL draft is an inexact science, but we at Football Game Plan believe that all three of those statements are huge myths and we're here to show you why as we go through seven rounds of the NFL draft and pick players to make each NFL team better. But before we get started, let's take a look at the mock draft rules. You have to remember that the selections that you see in this mock draft will be based off of Football Game Plan Scouting Player Rankings, which you can find on our website at youtube.com slash footballgameplan or footballgameplan.com slash FBGP Scouting. They're also based off what I would do as the general manager, not what I think they'll do, not what they have done or what they will do, but what I would do if I were the GM and also what I believe are the team needs. So not what other people may think the team needs are. If I think they need a quarterback, then I'm gonna take a quarterback. That's how it's going to go for this mock draft. So it's time to put on my GM hat and let's get started in building up the NFL. The Bills made some moves by bringing in Corey Brown and Andre Holmes, but I couldn't pass up the opportunity of getting a guy with the skills of a Mike Williams out of Clemson to play the X opposite of Sammy Watkins. Williams plays above the rim extremely well and will be a good bailout plan for any quarterback back there. I like Desmond King of Iowa and I really like his fit here in Buffalo. King is better at press than most people give him credit for and also has the ball skills to make quarterbacks pay for throwing inaccurate passes. Antonio Garcia out of Troy, in my opinion, would be a steal here for the Buffalo Bills. I think he can play either tackle spot and could compete right away for time at right tackle. With the first pick in the fifth round, I added depth at nose tackle at Washington's Elijah Qualls. I'm a big fan of how he's able to shock and control gaps, which just throws off everything for an offense's attempt to run into football. KD Cannon out of Baylor gives the Bills exactly what they lost with Marquise Goodwin, deep vertical speed. Cannon's game reminds me a lot of Mike Wallace, and I think he could easily slide in and start at that number three spot. And finally, going back to the secondary with Taylor Reynolds of James Madison, he's the type of corner that can excel in press or off coverage. I think he's a little bit better in off coverage. He's a read, plant, and accelerate and react type of a corner with tremendous ball skills. So that's a wrap for this edition of Building Through the Draft. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook. And if you want to watch our other NFL team seven round mock drafts, and you already should, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash football game plan, where you can catch all of our FBGP scouting prospect ranking videos. Also subscribe to Football Game Plan Podcast on iTunes.